Hello beautiful and thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to do a favorites video. If this is your first time on my channel and you happen to be stumbling across this video, no, I am not a beauty guru or a beauty YouTuber in any way, shape or form. I feel like this type of video oftentimes finds its way predominantly onto beauty YouTube channels. My content is more centered around lifestyle and minimalism, but these are some of my favorite things that I've had for whether it be six months, two years, three years, four years, etc. that I feel like have really elevated my life, made it easier in one way or another, and I wanted to share with you guys because I find a lot of value in these type of videos, so I wanted to give some value to you guys in that same way. So let's get started. Okay, so on to my first favorite, and these look pretty old because they are pretty old. I've had most of these for anywhere from like three to seven years, give or take, and they are lingerie bags. So what they are is they're just little bags that have mesh in them. They can have, you know, small mesh or big mesh. This one's a little bit bigger. And I like these because I <laughs> am very lazy and I don't like hand washing anything. If something needs to be hand washed, like a bra, a pair of underwear, scarf, whatever, it does not belong in my life because it's not getting hand washed, it's just gonna get <laughs> donated. But I notice that a lot of items that are hand washed particular, like bras or sometimes scarves, things like that, they don't do well in the washing machine. But I found that if you pop them into one of these type of bags, and then you run the load on gentle with like cool water, gentle cycle, low spin. They come out fine, at least in my experience. I've done this with bras for years, I've done this with scarves, I've done this with workout clothes, things that tend to need to be washed a little more gently, and they work perfect. They've definitely saved me time in my life, and I can't recommend them enough. If you're wondering why I look so tired, it's because this morning I woke up at 5.30 a.m for a video that will be going live next week. So if you're not already, please subscribe and stay tuned for that. So I'm looking at my pile here and I'm seeing how eclectic the amalgamation of things that I have are. Some of them are home, some of them are food, some of them are like skincare and some of them are fashion. Um, I guess next we will start with this organic no salt seasoning. It's from Costco, but I feel like a lot of different brands make things similar to this. And the reason that I like this is because I feel like when I'm trying to cook fast, I like to use a lot of different blends as far as seasonings instead of cracking out the individual bottles. And there's so many health benefits that come along with certain seasonings in your food, so I do like to pack in a lot of seasoning when I'm cooking. That being said, most mixed seasonings have a ton of salt in them. And the sodium in <laughs> the food I was cooking was starting to kind of crank up there and I was starting to get like swollen hands and swollen feet and I couldn't figure out why until I looked at the back of the ingredients of what I was cooking with and everything had salt in it. So I'm a big fan of the Kirkland brand just because it has sort of everything that I cook with regularly. This is definitely a favorite of mine for sure and the swelling in my hands and feet have gone down. So if you're experiencing that problem, you may wanna check the salt in your food. Okay, and we are gonna stay in the kitchen zone with my next favorite. These are my Corel dishware. Now, Corel dishware, I feel like has been around for a very long time because my grandma had Corel and my mom had Corel. And the reason I like Corel is because it's scratch and chip resistant. It's white, so it's timeless. And the way that they're designed and the sizes that they are are just really classic, very minimal, the type of item that you buy once and then you can pass it on or have it for the rest of your life. In fact, this particular bowl, the reason I brought this one specifically up is to prove a point. This bowl belonged to my grandma and then to my mom, and now it's mine. And you can see, except for the Corel getting worn, the Corel label getting worn off on the bottom, it looks literally perfect, literally brand new. And this is a brand new plate, and by brand new I mean like, I bought it two months ago. Um, you cannot tell the difference. <laughs> so if you happen to be in the need for new dishware, 
I highly, highly recommend the Corel brand. If you don't need new dishware, obviously this isn't really one for you, but if you're like me where you wanted to upgrade your dishware, because I bought a house recently and the chipped dishware from like Ross wasn't really cutting it anymore and I decided to upgrade um, and I upgraded to Corel. So if you happen to want to change your dishware, upgrade your dishware, or you just need dishware, Highly recommend Corel. Next, I'm gonna move on to body and self-care items as far as my favorites go. And number one, this has been a favorite for years and I have a feeling this is going to be a favorite for the rest of my life. And I have friends with drier skin that say that this particular product works really well and I myself with more oily skin love this product. So what it is is the Polish Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. And this is my daily AM sunscreen. And every single time that I try something different, I'm unhappy, I'm unsatisfied, and then I go back to this every single time. So I've made a decision that I'm not gonna do that anymore. It's not that expensive, I feel like, for a really, really good product like this. I think it's in the $30 range, but Polish Choice almost always has a sale going on. So what I do is I wait for a sale and then stock up, <laughs> uh, but, this is amazing. It has a very, very slight tint to it. So if you have a deeper skin tone than mine, I'm not sure how it will fare. But if you're pretty pale like myself or more in the medium range as far as skin tone, you blend it in and it just is awesome. Um, I hope that they make an option for deeper skin tones soon, but I love this. The ingredients that are in it are awesome. The way it sits on the skin is awesome. What it does to my complexion is awesome. And it does not break me out. That's like the most important thing. Um, and sunscreen, so it's anti-aging, anti-cancer, gotta love it. Sticking to the realm of skin, I have Aquaphor. So this is a newer, I would say in the last three months favorite. I use this on my lips and I use this as a cuticle cream because I have been on this journey to sort of minimize my skincare. I would describe myself as a minimalist, but my skincare I feel like was a pain point of mine where it was perhaps a little bit more cumbersome than it needed to be. I recently, actually not recently, like last year, did a skincare stuff video, like my minimalist skincare stuff. I'll link that down below if you're interested. And most of that, I still use, but there were a few little fringe things like a lip balm and a cuticle cream and a hand cream and a foot cream that I was sort of still working through and I wanted to have less products in that realm. And Aquaphor has done it for me. Jessica Braun here on YouTube recommended this as a lip balm uh, at night and I started using it like that, worked really well, and then I started putting it on my cuticles worked really well. So now this is sort of my one and done savior product for my hands at night, for my feet at night sometimes, and also for my lips. Next on the list is my Body Shop Olive Body Butter. I don't like a lot of body butters in general because I feel like in a lot of body butters, the fragrance is very overpowering. And that's true for the Body Shop too. The fragrances at the Body Shop are a little bit more natural, but even still, I just, I don't like to smell so abruptly like any one particular fragrance. I prefer to just sort of smell like me with maybe enhancements via perfume. So this one I like a lot because the Body Shop body butters are super duper moisturizing. And now that I'm not in California and I'm in an area with way less humidity, I am a fan <laughs> of very, very moisturizing body lotions. And it just smells, fresh. I wouldn't even say that it smells specifically like olive. In fact, when I had my husband smell it, he said that it smelled very slightly floral, which I guess it kind of does, but it just smells fresh and clean and light. And this is definitely my absolute favorite scent from the body wash, or from the body wash, from the body shop. And I will continue to buy this probably until the day I die. I use this or my CeraVe moisturizer. This one's just a little bit more heavy duty, which is great in the winter time. As far as lifestyle, I have my blue light glasses. Now, I don't use these when I'm on my computer necessarily because my computer at 
like 9 30 10 o'clock kicks into night mode which means that it sort of does the blue shift and there's less blue light in general on my screen and the same thing happens with my phone however I have noticed, and I don't know who gave me this tip, I think it was like my friend's dad or something, but I've noticed that if I put these on like an hour before I go to bed, I'm somehow more tired. And I don't know if there's like blue light in the lights above my head or from the microwave or whatever. I don't know what it is. Or maybe the TV, because I do typically watch TV just before bed with my husband, but um, I pop these on an hour before bed and I swear they work. It might be a placebo, but for the price of these, which I think was like $7, if it works, it works. <laughs> so those are some of my longtime favorites. And if you happen to purchase any of the things that I mentioned, I hope that you love them as much as I have and that they help you out as much as they have me. This is sort of a new type of video for my channel. So please let me know either by liking or disliking this video or in the comments below if this is the type of content you would like to see more of. I don't know how often I could do a favorites video because I'm not purchasing new things all the time. But when I do have a favorite, it tends to be a long time favorite. And I would love to share that information with you guys if you find it valuable. So please let me know because this may be the only video like this I ever make, or it could be sort of a seasonal, regular video for me. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.